We're back at our smart home takeover and EV charger installation. And we're back at the mains end and I've got one question, why? <laughs> yeah, okay, we seem to have almost lived at this point here because we've featured in a lot of videos before. But today we're looking at the issue of current transformers. And when I think of current transformers and I think of EV installations, I think about monitoring the amount of load the installation is taking. So I don't blow that incoming fuse, which is 100 amps in this installation. Yeah, so yeah, we're probably unlikely to blow it in this one. Yeah. But if you've got an installation where you're at 60 amps or you've got a lot of current using appliances, induction hobs, electric heating, there is a chance because that EV charger's on all the time, it could blow the main fuse. Does that mean I've got to get a cable from here at the mains end? And I think we installed our EV charger some 30 meters right at the back of the property. Got your cable all the way out to there? Yeah, you're right, Gary. This was an epic install. Um, and yeah, a lot of EV chargers have current transformers, but they require a hardwired connection all the way back to the main tails feeding into the property. But the great thing about the Harvey is it does it wirelessly. Wow, wirelessly. So it must have something to send a signal. Okay, what is going to send that signal out so in other words our EV charger can work out what we're actually taking for power? Yeah, so it sends a wireless signal, but the really clever thing about the Harvey itself, the little box of electronics behind us, doesn't have any batteries, doesn't need its own power supply. It harvests its power to work and transmit that wireless signal by getting its energy from the power flowing through the tails tapped off the current transformer that's needed to monitor the current. And I would have said in previous videos when you said that, it works on magic. So it's harvested that energy, it's sent the signal, but where's it sent that signal to? Okay, so the Harvey works seamlessly with other My Energy products, the Eddy that we have featured on the channel before, and the Zappy EV charger that's incredibly popular because it makes electricians' lives easy solving installation problems, the pen fault being the one that people mainly think about, but we think the Harvey is a great little product that'll help you with that. Reduce your wiring, and has some other features that we're gonna look at in this video. You talk about those other features, this installation here has solar PV, and can I therefore work out what energy that's producing, what I'm using in the installation, maybe do that mathematical calculation for me? Yeah, you, you can, Gary. There was, uh, we've, when we installed this initially, we've only added one current transformer, so we can only see the energy that's been imported or exported from the property, and that means we're not picking up actually what's happening with our solar panels. Is the power being used in the house, or is it being exported? So today we're gonna fit another current transformer which brings us to another little issue that was flagged up when some eFix viewers spotted the Harvey inside this box here Gary. The question is can you install equipment that isn't from the supply authorities or the DNO inside the meter box so in other words on that meter board what's the answer Gordon? Uh, well, the answer is yes and no depends on who you're asking but we're seeing a lot of people fitting small consumer units and sometimes you open these and it's a plethora of equipment there's not a lot of room in there no. We are looking at that, so watch for the video that will try and give you a comprehensive answer as to what you can or can't put inside this cabinet. And as a word of advice, if you're watching it and you haven't seen that other video yet, I'd be going no, no, and wait to find out that answer. Yeah, but we do see a lot of it. So we're going to use the opportunity of adding another current transformer to see where else in the installation we could put the Harvey. So we're going to move across to the consumer unit. So not to ruffle the feathers of the DNO, we've removed the Harvey from inside the meter box, but what's inside the Harvey? Okay, I'll just pop under the cover there. You will see there are six connections, but only two are needed for each current transformer, plus and minus, you see there. But this will support three current transformers. So we're gonna add another one, but what you don't see is any form of power supply. So this, yes, yeah. so you would say, Gary, it does work by magic. And then obviously that's paired with the current transformer that comes with the My Energy products. The Harvey is an accessory add-on, but uh, yeah, very easy to set up. Uh, a little pairing button at the start there, so you just press that to put it in the pairing mode and then uh, pick it up on your other My Energy devices in the system. Easy. So before we get to the excitement of seeing Gary fit this current transformer within the consumer unit, let's stop off at Harvey's close relative, the My Energy Hub. So you need a hub for a number of reasons. The main one that most people think about is so you can make your EV charger smart, but that's just the beginning of its capabilities. So what you can do once you have the hub is access what's happening on an app in your home for its energy performance. So you can see power being imported, you can see what you're using in the property, you can track your EV charging, and if you're lucky enough to have the eddy, you can see how much is going into your hot water, build up a pattern over time to see what's going on, hook into some of those smart tariffs, and even the LEDs on the front of the hub itself are useful because they can tell you what's going on with your devices. Are they connected to the internet? 
can you access them via the home? And you'll notice there's a, a little red light popped up at the moment to say the Harvey's not there, and that's for good reason, because it's in my hand here. So now I have two current transformers to fit. The one that I've moved that was on the incoming tails pointing into the installation, which is this one here. Just to remind ourselves, we've got a picture of the house and we've got a picture of the arrow, so we must make sure that we get it pointing correctly. And I will need to extend this in order that it can make its way to the Harvey. So if I pull my tails forward, it's fully isolated outside and inside, and we can clip that one on like so. We can see we've got it now pointing into the property. House this side on our line conductor, and there we go, that sits into there. We've also got to do the same now if we want to monitor the energy being produced by our solar PV, which is this breaker here. And actually, it's the supply coming into this breaker from our solar array on the roof. So we've got to make sure that we get our arrow correctly. It's coming down, the energy is coming down into the top of this breaker and effectively liven up the bus bar in reverse. So we've got to make sure we put that one on correctly. So if I wrap that one round like so, clip it into place and then I will locate these best as I can in order I can get the lid on and then I'll make my connections to my Harvey. Question now, we've just had the question, can we install stuff in the DNO's meter cabinet outside? And we suggested maybe not. I'm sure there's some uh, comments gonna be below about installing these within the consumer unit. We have no other choice, that's where they've gotta go. So I'm gonna install the Harvey next. Let's slip a top tip in while we're here. I've moved the towels around, so I've got my torque screwdriver out, as well as moving the conductors in top of the RCBO. So I've set the required torque setting according to the manufacturer. It's listed down here for me for all the devices. So I've set my torque screwdriver up and I'm just gonna return these after moving them back to the required torque setting. If you want to know why we changed this consumer unit over to the Schneider Easy 9, check out the video in the link in the description or the eye above my head and the thinking behind having to change it when we were doing this EV install. So I've relocated the Harvey to the underside of the consumer unit. I've moved it from the DNO's meter box because we're still unsure whether it can be in there and I've connected my two CTs. However, you rushed off upstairs. What were you up to? Yeah, so I obviously have to introduce the CT to the system. So we previously paired that Harvey to our Eddy that obviously is diverting the solar energy into the hot water when there's an excess. Um, so it knew there was already one current transformer in the system. So I had to just navigate through and tell it there was a second one, but also tell it the purpose of that transformer. So is it another source of energy, which in case it is here, it's generation coming from the roof and the solar panels. Uh, so quickly through the menu and that's it, configured in the system. And then as soon as I've done that, I could then see that in the app. Yeah, and that's beautiful, isn't it? So all of a sudden now we can work out what the sun's doing, where that energy is going, and hopefully we're not giving it back to the grid. Yeah, so in this installation there is two choices, obviously the Zappi charger. We fitted in some previous videos, check those if you haven't seen them already, or our energy diver if you're out for the day, the sun's beating down, you might want to put that, hot, that energy into your hot water system, check that. But I've found when you look at the app and you can see that power flow, it becomes quite addictive. You know, where's the, where's the energy going? How much am I generating? And, but that is just so visual. And I think the ease in which we've added that to the system is fantastic. And it's leveled up this smart home takeover once again. So the solar PV, when we first arrived, was pretty much exporting it all day long when we're out of work, wasn't it, into the road. And now we've moved it, we've put it into the car, and we've put it into the hot water system. But as always, we're interested in your feedbacks and your comments. Have you been using the Harvey or the Eddy? And what's your experience with it? Leave all those comments below, and we'll try and get back to as many as we can.